Hey, hey, I am Jo Ellen. Do you want to know a makeup tip that is going to make a huge difference in your makeup routine? Of course you do, right? Contouring makes a huge difference in your makeup routine. It will give you the youthful glow and the shape and shadow that you were missing. So keep watching to find out how to get this pretty easy, simple contour look. Let's go. All right, when it comes to contouring, it's all about having the right tools and the right makeup to get a good look. Now, there are a lot of different brushes that you can use. There's a lot of different colors and shades that you can use, but I'll show you the way that I like to do it. And then you can use these tips to incorporate it into your makeup routine so you look and feel like a million bucks. So this is my favorite um, brush I like to contour with. This is called the Detail Brush. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite. And I'm gonna be using um, my custom compact of colors. I like to use two different types of contours just to mix it up a bit, but I'll show you how you can create this look on your face. Now, let's step back a bit and let's talk about why it's really important to contour. All right, so the everyday woman is used to just taking a bottle of liquid foundation or mineral powder foundation or um, a creamy foundation, whatever you're used to using. You just use a foundation color and you put it all over your face, right? To get that even skin tone, to maybe cover up some blemishes, to just look more put together, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. But what happens when you use one foundation color and you put it all over your face is now you have taken away those natural shadows and dimension and shape from your face. And now you have like one flat finish and that's not very flattering. Yes, you might have more even skin tone, but you've just taken away that shape. And so what contouring does is it brings back that shape and that shadow and that dimension into your face. And it makes you look more alive. It makes you look more natural and it makes you look more you. <laughs> so contouring will add back in those shapes, those sh natural shadows that you got rid of when you put that foundation on your face. You're going to be putting back those natural shadows along your cheekbones, along your jawline, along your nose and along your forehead. That's what contouring is about. But I know you're like, I don't have time for that one, maybe. Maybe you don't have the experience with it and maybe you don't feel like you have the products for it. So I'll share with you how easy this is. You can do this in a matter of minutes. You don't have to have a lot of experience and with the right products and tools, you can do this same thing in your makeup routine. Now, on right now on my face, yes, I have my eye makeup done and I have a light layer of foundation. So now my skin tone is nice and even, but now I'm taking out those shadows from my face. And so I want to put those shadows back in. So I'm gonna share like how much of a difference contouring will make in your makeup process when you add back in those shadows. So right now I have that flat look. There's nothing wrong with it. It's okay, right? It's just kind of blah. But let's bring that contouring back in and see how much more beautiful and alive and youthful our face can be. So I'm going to be using this brush and these colors, okay? Now, if you want help figuring out what contour colors are going to be good for you, then um, email me your selfie and I'd be happy to tell you. Now, you don't want to orange because then you'll look like an Oompa Loompa, right? And you don't want to... Um, ashy because then you're going to look dirty. So there is a right balance of the right kind of brown that you want to add into your face. You want to have a nice ashy natural looking shadow, not fake, not crazy, right? All right. So we're going to be focusing on our cheekbones, our jawline, our nose and forehead. All right. Those are the four areas where you really want to bring in those natural shadows. At least if you if that's too much for you, then at least do your, your cheekbones. Your cheekbones is where it's gonna pop and it's, you're gonna notice a big difference. So I'm just gonna take this brush and you can use, actually can use either end. I prefer to use a smaller end to apply and the bigger end to, to um, blend, but you can apply with the bigger end too and blend with that. There really is no like perfect way to do it. You just figure out what feels the most comfortable for you and with your face shape and how you like to work it, trial and error. And so I'll show you how I like to do it. So I'm using this darker color 
And what you want to do is you want to find the cheekbone uh, in the middle of your face. So it's right at that bone that's popping out right here. It might not be as noticeable depending on your face structure, um, but you're just going to, it's going to be about at the tip of your ear and your hairline, and it's going to be that bone right in the middle of your face. And you're going to want to follow along that bone and draw a line and then we're going to blend it. So we're going to look crazy for a minute, but then don't worry, blending is the magical part. So right here at the hairline, right at your ear, you're going to find your cheekbone and you're going to take that contour and draw right along it. We're just painting. We are basically painting our face like we are in art class, right? So just follow that cheekbone and you want to stop when you get to about the corner of your eye, no further than about the middle of your eye. If you get too far into this right here, your smile line, then you're gonna start looking like you have a beard or that you look a little bit dirty and that's not flattering. So we wanna make sure that we don't go too far, that we just, we're just focusing on that cheekbone to kind of give you that shape and shadow, right? So right there. Now, if you want a little extra lift of those cheeks, you can end it with a little kind of a Nike swoosh, kind of like a cup, cup your cheek a little bit, like a push-up bra would. <laughs> um, or you can just do a straight line, whatever works for you, all right? So do that right from your hairline to about the corner of your eye, and we're good. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Really easy, okay? So taking that contour and drawing it right on your face, boom. Now, if you wanted to use this end, you would just apply it, you know, put your, your brush in there and you would just press it right where you want it, all right? There's no wrong or right way, do what works best for you. Now, we're gonna do um, our forehead. So like, just like a ball, if you shine a light in the middle of a ball, the natural shadows would be at the top and at the bottom. So we wanna be shadowing our uh, forehead just like if the sun was shining on our face, we'd have those natural shadows. So we are bringing that shape and dimension back into our face. All right, so I'm just applying that right along my hairline. And we will blend it. And right now it's just like slop it up there and we're just gonna create that shadow and we'll blend it in a minute. Now you can also do it along your, your jawline to create a nice shadow along there. Just follow your bone of your jaw and then we will blend it down into our neck to make it nice and natural. All right. Now, if you want to do this part, you can, you do not have to. I really like to do a little nose contouring. I feel like it just defines my nose a bit, kind of slims it out. So I'm gonna use the kind of edge of this brush and I'm going to apply it right along the bridge of my nose to create that shadow right along that side. Do it on both sides. Okay. I always like to add a little bit at a time. It's easier to add than it is to take away, but even if you do feel like you mess up, that's fine. This is cream foundation, so it's really easy to wipe away. So don't worry about getting it perfect, messing up, it's totally fine. All right, so do you see how uh, my nose is already getting that definition along? That's really fun. All right, so now we look kind of funny. Got those lines, look kind of cray cray. We look like we are <laughs> in an art class, but now is the fun part. Now we are going to blend. So I'm just gonna flip my brush over using the same brush and we're gonna blend. Now with blending, you wanna, the whole point of adding that contour is to create that shadow and dimension and you wanna create a lift of those cheekbones. You wanna get that definition. So we're blending up and making it look more natural, all right? So with the blending process, you can either like pat if you want to, pat it into your skin, you can kind of swipe it, you can buff it like in circular motions, whatever you feel like is the best um, way to give you that nice natural um, blended look, okay? 
because it is cream, it blends really beautifully, all right? So do the other side, blend it, buff it, right? Until you get a nice natural shadow, you're getting rid of those harsh lines. And do the same thing up in your forehead. You wanna blend it right up into your hairline. So it looks natural. Get rid of those harsh lines. Ah, oh, do you see how beautiful that is just creating that nice shadow and dimension on your face? And then down here along your jawline, you want to take that line and blend it down. So you have that natural shadow down along your neck. It's really hard to talk when you're <laughs> when you're uh, messing around with your neck. All right. So there we have now a more blended look than we had a minute ago. But if you feel like you still want a little bit more blending, then you can take your, your makeup sponge that has been dampened and like really wrung out. So it's just barely damp and it's nice and pliable and squishy. You can take that and bounce it on your face and blend it out even more. If you feel like you just want to just round out those those edges a bit more where you had that um, that line. A makeup sponge is great for just picking up any of the excess product and really bouncing it and pressing it into your skin to make it look really natural. All right, so there we have a fully contoured face. Now I have more shape and dimension on my face. Do you see that? So now I actually have that shadow back on my face. Now I have actually have cheekbones. I don't just have one flat foundation face. I now have some chiseled and um, defined features on my face. It's a lot more feminine and a lot more flattering and a lot more um, youthful looking when you add those shadows back into your face. These shadows were there before you put uh, your foundation on. And so we're just putting them back in and making us look more natural and lively, right? So contouring is so, so simple but it is such um, an overwhelming or scary process that women shy away from because they're like, I have no idea how to do it. I don't have the products to do it. I don't have the knowledge to do it. I don't have the experience. I don't have the time. I just totally blew that out of the water. I just showed you how to contour in a matter of minutes. Um, I told you what products to use and I showed you how to do it. It's super easy. Now, of course, this is taking longer because I'm giving you a step-by-step -step process. But when you have um, a little bit more practice under your belt, you can do your highlighting and contouring in your whole face in a matter of like two minutes. It's super fast and super easy. When you have the right tools and the right products and the right knowledge, you can do amazing things. So don't be overwhelmed with your beauty routine. Keep it simple. Let's get back to the basics. Let's break it down and let's make it manageable for the everyday woman. So there you have it. There is a contour look. Now I have those nice shape, dimension back on my face. I'm ready to hit the day hard and do better and bigger things. Cause like, I really feel that when you feel good, you do good. And so I wanna help give you those tools to give you that confidence to feel and look more beautiful so you can do more beautiful things with your life. So if you have any questions, be sure to pop them down below. If you want to know what products I used, check the description. If you want help figuring out what contour colors will be great for your skin coloring, I'm happy to help you. I have a knowledge of, of how to color match women from the lightest and fairest of skin to the darkest of skin. And this product line is great and it covers all skin colors. So I totally got you. So be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. I just like keeping things simple with style and beauty, break it down. Let's let every woman have a chance at feeling confident and beautiful in their skin, all right? So have a fabulous day. Look good, feel good, do good. Ciao.